Hey folks, how are you? Hopefully you're fine. I have another base layout video for you. Um, but before I do this, I can announce um, it's only about 13 days and 16 hours to finally, definitely and uh, yeah, finally <laughs> start the upgrade to the Cold War Age. I intended to um, already upgrade my city center so to go to the progress for the Cold War Age already now, but I recognize that my um, embassy as well as the forest so the embassy was a part I intended to upgrade since I was in the Atomic Age. So I'm now over a year in the Atomic Age and I did not upgrade it because there was always another thing to research, to upgrade. And I definitely now, when I'm now upgrading to the Cold War Age, I will uh, delay the embassy anymore. But uh, the armory is very nice to get some research done sideways of your ordinary amount of citizens and um, currently I'm farming with heavy tanks also playing the world wars heavy tanks and the um, Ethiopians coalition is very helpful in that case but I can unlock the Ethiopian coalition only in the Cold War only with the next stage of my embassy and because I uh, want to do the sideways of my ordinary progress I started to upgrade the embassy and I stored too much oil so I have not no space anymore except for this little space and therefore I expanded anymore or I expanded uh, about one more forest piece of forest and when I've cleared this debris I will definitely and finally I've said it many times I think but I always delayed it because I was probably some kind of lazy or feared by about hitting the new age but I'm now definitely doing it within the next 14 days let's say 14 days also have two world war attacks for you um, which you can see I will not use any um, any music I will comment it and um, I'm not pretty sure shall I show them now to you or later I think I will show them later on to you because the main topic of the video is the base layout so if you are interested for the uh, world war attacks in the current world war against an um, enemy alliance which uh, yeah was less strong than we anticipated um, I will show them in the very end of the video so you can skip or even wait and stay tuned for the end let's go right into the base layout so here we have the base layout I want to present to you it's my uh, current or my former Maze layout I played for a pretty long time I think about six or seven months it was one of two options of my layouts I uh, I changed or I chose between so that I have some kind of uh, alternation I alternated between both of those layouts and that was actually one of my true layouts I used in the world war mm, unfortunately I don't have this layout anymore so I cannot show it to you for example the radiuses and the, the effect ranges of all buildings. I can only promise this to it to you as well as uh, the, the road bonus. I cannot show it to you, but uh, if you are look closely, you will see that um, when I'm talking, for example, about the radar bonus, all interesting buildings, for example, uh, are hit by the road. So first on, um, what is the main purpose of this layout? Most obviously, um, many of you have recognized that we have open entrances in this layout and it's also called maze layout or labyrinth layout and this means that it's most important to um, to steer the enemy to control the enemy and to make it more attractive to attack from specific sites and to from other sites and also to steer enemy troops after rallying or even when not rallying so that they um, enter the base through the um, very small entrances and so are getting delayed and weakened down by traps which are located specifically at those areas. I have located the mortars um, in the very center of the base whereby I have to mention this mortar over here should be one location more downside so to the uh, southeastern side because currently the um, after the last update the sabotage got decreased so it costs only one space so sabotage got attractive again and more players are playing sabotage again so sabotaging mortars also got attractive again and with a range of only three tiles or three pieces between those mortars will, uh, you can 
disable them with only one sabotage by clicking perfectly in their center. If you are now moving this mortar slightly downwards, you will get enough space again so that you have all mortars close together, close to the town center, but nevertheless unable to getting disabled by only one sabotage. That's the first about the layout. Second, the mortars are very central. I think you have already uh, recognized against decoy. I used all of my, uh, ah, another information, it's obvious, um, Cold War as well as Industrial um, Atomic Age um, layout because the amount of walls is not differentiating, so you can use it in both ages, obviously. Um, in Global Age you have too little walls to get the complete layout, so probably you have to locate some buildings outside, like the uh, castle, the acropolis, for example, or make this inner compartments slightly uh, smaller. Now the um, cannon towers, which you have uh, about six in the atomic age, well, as well as in the um, cold war age, probably you have even seven. I'm not pretty sure, but s definitely six. I located in the very center to make sure that my mortars are not easy to being decoyable. Uh, I think it is decoyable as word. I think you uh, understand what I mean. Um, as well as get uh, the bunkers, which I have placed in the very center, um, protected against betrayal tactics so that no one steals my heavy tanks. Or when they steal them, they are definitely and very fast getting smashed. The air defenses are pretty much um, very symmetrical, placed in the outer ring of the layout, so that we have some kind of... Um, yeah, good defense or air defense in from each location, from each uh, direction of the base, as well as the towers, which I have, which I tried to place in the dead spots or in the zones where my air defenses mainly cannot um, effect or cannot shoot, so that you have some kind of right around protection against planes which are incoming. The Acropolis is not in a 100% usage because I um, hate about getting Blitzkrieged. If you are now using Blitzkrieg as Acropolis, you are not Blitzkrieging each of the very strong buildings such as bunkers and tank depots, but most of them, nevertheless, the complete base is Blitzkriegable, so you can use Blitzkrieg to get all um, interesting buildings uh, shut down for about 12 seconds. We have one tank depot and another tank depot without or out of the range of the Acropolis, but two of them as well as both bunkers shortly, but nevertheless within the range of the Acropolis. The Colosseum is located over here, but it's not specifically, you can order it or place it in another way also. Then we have the Pentagon, which is at another entrance of the base. Uh, I located at the last entrance or at the opposite entrance, the castle with the generals, and as at the um, most interesting entrance, I located the Versailles to slow enemy troops down, because obviously um, such highlights in a base to get really quickly down are for example the Acropolis with the defender buildings around, the town center, and with the new update also the silo. Now the silo is in the very inner side, but nevertheless it is some kind of exposed, so you could easily destroy it if you would attack from the southeastern side, where the um, Versailles is located. Um, but if you are attacking or approaching from over here, the Versailles will slow you or the attacker the complete time down, because even if you destroy the Versailles, the Versailles effect will stay active. Then I have placed um, most of my air defenses and my air missiles at this direction. Probably it is even better to get this air defense or this missile slightly more outward so that it will explode before something reaches the, um, the silo. I think it's too close. Um, yeah, those both air defenses are slightly or more in the center of the base. About redoubt on garrisons, I put no further interest in locating my, my uh, redoubts and garrisons in a very good position, so they are located somewhere to get the Acropolis bonus or even without any intention. Um, about the resource buildings, which have some kind of more secondary but nevertheless important role, if you are attacking for 50% quick victory, so not for the town center quick victory, you have to get also very many HP and except for the oil well, uh, the, the town center, the castle, the vault and the world wonders, also the research storage buildings have a lot of HP and um, I 
yeah, separated them, some at the northeastern and some at the southwestern side. So northeastern side and southwestern side, so that they are not that easy approachable to get the 50% victory. It is not visible, but you can pretty good imagine very, very at the downside. I have already cleared the very last um, piece of forest in the very, very southern side. So at six o'clock of the base to get the maximum downwards position so that you cannot get any more downwards at the base to locate my oil refinery to cost enemies some seconds. Um, so therefore you cannot see the oil refinery at anywhere at the base. Now the next point are the traps. Um, most of the traps or the most interesting traps I have located at the inner side of the base because from here you have about five range for your artilleries, howitzers and all troops which do the main damage from range at town centers and other interesting buildings to slow them down, to, um, to, to stick them over here like glue and to uh, make my defenders more easy to um, approach them and to kill them. Also I located some of the other traps um, more at the outer side. So for example over here and over here because I recognized players to attack from over there um, in the most situations except for the, the base site which was mostly preferred and that was obviously the base site which I wanted enemies to attack. I exposed my silo over here and located most of my um, barbed wires, some kind of spread out over here and also the Versailles because um, many attackers tried to get from this side or from this and from other sides. So the side of the Versailles mostly was um, approached with all the other sides and um, yeah the last thing I would like to mention, hopefully I have not forget forgot anything, are the streets or the roads. If you are now watching closely, um, all roads are connected with the most important buildings, such as each tower has a connection to the road. Each air defense, each anti-cannon tower, each mortar has a um, connection to the road, except for the redoubts. I think one redoubt is not connected, all of the others should be, but like I said, I did not pay any attention for the redoubts. But, by the way, sorry, over here I have one tower and one tower over here, so it's the very left and at the very right side, completely exposed to make it for enemies harder to get the very exposed um, oil drill towers. So not all buildings are hit. Um, it is based at the very individual uh, decision of a player um, whether to place them really over there or to get them more close and more to the central of your base. In total I would say I um, made sufficient use of the radar research bonus by the space. Nevertheless of the fact or despite of the fact um, that two towers are like I mentioned not, co not connected to the roads. Um, I spoke already, or I talked about the world wonders, about our major defense buildings. Now, if you want to, um, if you want to copy that base um, again, I can only give you one very, very central and um, fundamental advice: try to explore or to clear your area of your base area. Um, in a square and not in some kind or some odd other forms because if you have a square form for your own estate not for your own estate for your own area for your own base it is most easy uh, to build the most base layout so if you have now already um, a square area of your own base you can make sure sorry you can make sure to uh, locate one building for example in the very uh, right side and one in the very top side of the base so you can draw a line from one side to the middle and from the top from um, another side in 90 degree angle to the middle so you can see where the actual middle of the base is. Now you can uh, deploy your town center over here and build everything right around from the town center. So start from the very center and build each other thing right around. And um, now if you have done that or if you have done this um, the missile silo should be that much um, look that much located away from the center that it should be if you copy the space at the very right side and all planes or 
air units, except for the tactical helicopters you are in calling for the missile silo, should definitely um, come from the dock side, which means that you can locate your air traps or your air missiles, however they are called, um, to this side and make sure that they will actually hit those planes approaching the missile silo. Um, yeah, in total that was about the base layout. Hopefully you have already been able to make a screenshot. If you were not able, now I give uh, about six seconds for you while I'm talking to get a screenshot of the base and copy it. I would be really happy to receive some feedback for you or from you. Um, if this base um, worked out for you, if you succeeded, if you had some uh, less success with it, uh, any opinions are very welcome. For all of you which have waited for my World War Tax, let's get right into now. So here we have the base of enemy number one. Um, I tried to attack and get the 50% victory. Enemy has two defense collisions, I think one was level one or two, the other one was level five. My offense collision was at this time level two, so pretty low. Um, I spread out my tanks and tried to reach for the most um, strong defense buildings. Uh, not defense, for the most strong hit point buildings, such as the vault and uh, resource buildings at the left side. Um, and at the right side I hoped to get for the town center fast enough to get the town center for uh, additional HP. The healing I used at this side, so this healing over here, was pretty much too early, I could use it later. Um, initially I was able to deal about the cannon towers pretty sufficiently I think. Uh, unfortunately I was unable to get the, that cannon tower um, early enough, so it killed one of my heavy tanks, now it killed it. So that was one of my major mistakes until now. I had to early sabotage over here both cannon towers. And I definitely at this point already recognized how strong the enemy defenses are. Also the barbed wire over here slowed me pretty down. Now I rallied for the cannon towers because I knew the cannon towers would be the death of all of my rest troops. But I hoped to get at least for 4 stars, it would be perfect at this pace I thought. We have two cannon towers, three cannon towers remaining, which were pretty much um, a pain in the ass for me. I rallied the cannon tower and hope, um, uh, yeah, pretty positively could take it out. But now the battle already was over. I thought about getting uh, the quick victory, or not the quick victory, the um, fourth star for the town center. But I had no more planes, unfortunately, as well as no more tactics. And the cannon tower very close to the um, Forbidden City, uh, yeah, would would prohibit me to do this or would disable me to get this. So unfortunately I got the quick victory but not the town center star so only three stars at this base layout. Honestly I was some kind of disappointed about this um, outcome of the battle. Um, on the other hand enemies used uh, massive uh, troop tactics as well as all of the troops but both attacks gave in total only two stars. The first one zero stars, the other one two stars so I was um, quite happy with the ending of getting three stars at the enemy base but uh, giving only two stars away with my base. Enemy number two and three have already been taken, no two already. Enemy number three was not that strong and therefore I decided to go for the next strong enemy which was enemy number four and I tried to get this base down as fast as possible without any troop tactics and therefore I spread my troops pretty harshly out as much as I could. Uh, yeah, and try to get a good time at this base. Uh, the Blitzkrieg was pretty early, now uh, retrospectively viewed. But yeah, I tried to get the, uh, yeah, my intention was within the battle I can remember 
to prohibit or to avoid the generals from spawning, but for the town center defenders it was definitely too early. Um, I used the healing tactic very early, I could have used it later on, because most of my troops are um, not that much damaged at this point. Um, at this point I also had all of my troops remaining, I'm pretty sure I had no losses so far. I tried to use my uh, planes pretty pretty less, as little as, as possible, and then only for uh, specific buildings such as enemy towers, as well as uh, air defenses. And now all of the uh, and crucial buildings which could damage my planes are away, except for one tower. I was some kind of unsecure and did not want to do a miss rally, therefore I waited quite long. Now I did the speed rally, which I could have already done further or uh, former, but uh, in the past I did some really stupid speed rallies and lost some time with it. So in total that were both attacks, first against an enemy which was, I think, pretty pretty equal to myself, but has had a stronger defense tactics and so Unfortunately only three stars, the second attack was pretty overwhelming, I was stronger than the enemy and uh, yeah, some five star attack. Uh, it was um, one minute and 57 seconds attack, so sub mid two minutes attack and I was happy at least with the second attack. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, see you soon my friends.